is Sarah. I'm going to show you how to assign an activity to your class, how to share it in the school and district seesaw library, and how to find and remix an activity that somebody else already made. First of all, I want to assign an activity to my class. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to click on assign activity. I have an activity that I have already made that I want to assign to my classes. So I'm going to click on that activity and I'm going to click assign. And when I do that, I can assign this to more than one class at a time. I can edit which students I share it with and I can customize it a couple different ways. So for example, I have an AAPS PLTW PD class that I have. And if I click on that class, I can edit which students I share it with. The default is to share it with everybody. And for today, I'm going to share it with everybody in my made up class. I also can add it to folders. If I choose to, I could put it in the private teacher only folder, which means students would see it until they complete the activity. After they've completed the activity, it will be gone and only the teachers will see it. Students won't see it again and families will not see it. So I'm not going to put this in the private teacher only folder. I can click the check mark to save the default. I could also assign it to another class at the same time. For today, I'm just going to assign it to this one class. At this point, I can either assign it to one class or I can schedule it. Because we are assigning our Project Lead the Way assignments or activities on Tuesdays, I'm going to schedule this to assign it on a specific date and time. And I'm going to make that March 25th at 7 o'clock a.m. By clicking from p.m., it'll change it to a.m. So again, that's Tuesday, March 25th at 7 o'clock a.m. And I'm going to click the check mark. And then when I click this, it will show that it's assigning it on March 25th at 7 o'clock a.m. And it is good to go. If I want to see this in my class, I can view it in AAPS, PD, PLTW. I can see it as scheduled. If I had already assigned it to the class, it would be here. These are two other activities that I've assigned in the past, but I can't see it there. I can only see it under scheduled. So I've created and shared the second grade activity for this week. This week in PLTW, we are sharing activities. So I want to go back to my activity. And in order to get back to all my activities, I have to go to assign activity again. But I want to share this activity with the other Project Lead the Way teachers. The way that I can do that is by clicking on the activity and clicking on, instead of contribute to the library, I don't want to contribute to the public library because Project Lead the Way is not shareable due to its copyright. I realize that this isn't technically a Project Lead the Way activity, but I want to get in the habit of not sharing to the community library, but just sharing to our school and district library. So to do that, I'm going to click the three dots at the bottom of my activity, and I am going to click on the option to share the activity. And I want to share this to the school and district libraries. So I'm going to click on that button. I'm going to choose that this is a second grade activity. That's who I created it for. And I'm going to choose that the subject is STEAM. And again, I'll check the button. And finally, I can look at where this is being shared. For the sake of what we're doing, I'm just going to leave those all selected. And I will click the check mark. And then I can click share. And once I've done that, I know that my activity has been submitted to our district library and I can click the back button and close this. Finally, I want to find an activity that Kelly Newton already created for kindergarten that I'm going to share this week in my classes and I want to show you how to find an activity, save it to your own library, and then remix it for your students. I'm going to click school and district. Right now it says all grades, all subjects, and my school. And there I can see my activity right there. I'm going to refine this so that I call it, instead of all subjects, I'm going to make it STEAM. And actually I could see Kelly's activity on there before. Nevertheless, it's nice to know that you can refine it like this. And I know that she put it in kindergarten so I could sort it by kindergarten, but I can see it here now. In order to share Kelly's activity with my students, I want to do two things. First, I want to click on the heart 
When I click on the heart in Kelly's activity, it will put it into my Seesaw library. When I put it into my Seesaw library, I can customize that activity so that it shows my name and I can add my voice to it. This is a great activity. I'm grateful for Kelly for sharing it, but my students are going to love it if they see it coming directly from me, customized for them. In order to do that, I will click on the three dots. I'll copy and edit the activity. And what I would recommend, because Kelly voiced over instructions on this activity, which is wonderful, I would recommend deleting her instructions. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and delete the recording. And then I'm going to add my own voice instructions to those later. I'm not going to do that right now, but I will add those later. And then I will save this. And now I have this activity in my Seesaw library with my face, and eventually I will add my own voice and assign this to my classes also. Thank you to Kelly for uh, collaborating with me, and I hope that this is helpful.